Hey everybody, it's Teresa. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I thought uh, I'd bring you along because I'm trying a new recipe. I'm, I'm going to make it my own, of course. But uh, the chicken and stuffing casserole, I know it's very popular in the crock pot. And I just, I guess it's, I don't, I don't, my instant pot will slow cook. And uh, some things I like to slow cook, but sometimes I just don't have the patience. But I always wanted to make this recipe. It sounds really good. I never tried it before, but uh, mine's going to be baked in the oven. And I think you're going to enjoy it. It's very easy to put together, and uh, anyway, I've got a lot of the ingredients measured out, so it should be easy, and I hope you enjoy the video and the recipe. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, in the recipe, she says you can grate a medium onion and carrot, and you could even put celery. I chop mine really fine, and uh, Ellen and I like onions, so I probably could just bake it, but I'm gonna saute them a little bit first, and I'm gonna add, add garlic to mine. And our recipe is going to be a little bit bigger. You, the first thing you want to do is find a two quart. This is a little bit bigger. So our recipe is going to be a little bit bigger. A two quart baking container. And I have my oven on convect 345. And you want to boil, or yeah, I boil three small, well, they, they weren't that small. That's why I'm adding more stuffing. Check chicken breast. And I put a little white black pepper and I boiled it in salted chicken stock. Now, it also calls for a can of cream of chicken soup and I found one unsalted. Sometimes I don't use those because they're so salty. So anyway, I thought we'd try, we got one cup of sour cream. We might, we might have to add more because we, you know, we're just playing around. But we love videos like that, don't we? I'm gonna put a little celery and I'll have a little butter in here. Once. I just saute these a little bit. And you could skip celery if you want to. You can add it if you want to. It's up to you what, what you add, really. And I'm gonna add a little onion. This is a couple, this is a little onion and a bigger onion, but we like onions, so I don't mind a lot. I didn't do a very good job chopping them. But see, they're pretty small. I could probably just throw them in the casserole. It says to bake for 30 to 40 minutes and I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. I started kind of late today, but and we just uploaded a video of the best, one of the best cakes I've ever had. It's delicious. And I always like to add just, I need to use a couple of jalapenos and I'll take the seeds out. I'll put them in these little Amazon containers and freeze them in here. I love these things. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, some of my vegetables. I have it on high, but it's just not getting hot yet. Well, this is totally optional. You, you guys know how I cook. I always add this. You can add bell pepper if you want to. We just love to add these. Sometimes they're hot, sometimes they're not. It just depends. And I'm gonna add some garlic which is not in the recipe. I need to use the garlic, so. And we tasted, I've never used this. No, I didn't even show you what we're using. This is a bag of the uh, white and wheat breads blended with herbs and spices in its small crumbles. They only had one of these and uh, I wasn't sure if I needed another bag, so I got this bag, and these are cubes, and I thought mixed together, be different textures, it might be really good. So anyway, I'm gonna saute these, and uh, I have all my other ingredients, and I'll, I'll put the ingredients on the video. I don't know why this is taking so long. I'm gonna switch burners. So when this sautés, I'll be right back. I'd like to mention, if you're baking in a regular oven, just bake it 350 or, or a little higher if you want, uh, a little faster. You're sautéed enough. You're right, actually supposed to add your stuff to your onions, but this guy's going to get mixed up. So I'm going to put this with my chicken. You're supposed to mix the uh, onions and the soup and the sour cream and stuff first, but I, I don't want to dirty a bunch of, a bunch of bowls. Because it's all going to mix, be mixed up together anyway. This smells good already. 
Now I did add just a tiny bit of thyme to my chicken. Sometimes I really don't like to boil chicken like that, but I thought I'd try this recipe. You could also just sear your chicken breast and then put them in the oven like that. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a little mix. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. It'll make sure they can see. So I'm just gonna give this a little mix. And then I'm gonna throw in my soup. There we go. <laughs> Where's that little green thing, Ella? Oh, I used it. I got it. Let me get it all up. I got my little green spatula. I might have to add a little bit more because of course I can't follow a recipe to save my life. Sour cream, full fat sour cream is what I like to use. And we have it out in case we need extra. All right, now we're gonna throw in, uh, this is the chicken stock that I made. I'm gonna pour in half a cup. Now you're gonna get it as wet as the consist consistency you like at Thanksgiving is in hard directions. So I'm just gonna give this a mix. And this way you can add as much salt as you like. I am gonna add, let me, let me put my stuff in here. Oh, is this the right? No, I got the wrong bowl. It's this bowl. I think it's gonna be interesting with the different size breadcrumbs. Let me switch to my spatula. And I put the butter. And this is salted butter. I thought a larger shallower pan would also make it bake faster than if you put it in a, a deep, smaller pan. Looks pretty wet. You want that, those crumbs to soak in the, carrots are probably really good in here. I kind of forgot about them. I'm gonna add some seasonings though. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of garlic powder because we're garlic, garlicaholics. And I found granulated garlic. I don't know why it's so hard for me to find that. I'm gonna add a little onion powder. Like I said, I added a little bit of thyme. That's up to you. You could add different herbs if you want to. They said the stuffing has a lot of herbs in them, but <clears throat> I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and black pepper. I like to put black, black pepper in everything. And this is not on the recipe. Oh, uh, tell me what, what we did with the last cup. I, so, I gotta keep reading the recipe. Ella's too worried about her phone. Fold it and three, add more stock. You want the, how you like the dressing. We're now add the. Actually, I'm waiting. Oh, when you put this in the bacon, just then you top with the breasts. I'm waiting on an important message. Don't slander me like this. Okay, I want you to see a close up of the consistency. That looks pretty wet to me. But if you want to add a little bit more chicken stock, you could. I right, had just a tiny bit. My chicken's not a little cloudy, but it's, it's okay. That's how you know it's good. Because uh, I know the probably the wetter it is, the longer it takes to bake, but it just depends on how you like it. If you like it moist, you probably should taste this, but I really, uh, I'm gonna make Ella do it. <laughs> Can you taste it all to see the seasoning? Get good, good boy. I like the 
the sour cream. Mm. <clears throat> That's perfect. Oh, good. All right. Now let me move on. I'm on dirty dishes around. This, I always film right here because it's the best lighting I have. But uh, we'll be back when we get it all put in the baking dish. I got it right here. Okay. It's supper time. <laughs> this is way too much food for us. I, I wonder if you can freeze some of this. See, it's going to be shallow, so it'll bake a lot faster. And if it starts getting too dry, just add a little stock to it. That's what my mom does when she makes homemade dressing. Of course, she puts eggs in it and all that. And it's, it's the best. And if it starts getting too brown, just cover with aluminum foil. So we're gonna put this on top, which I don't see why, bro. I mean, I'm gonna press it in a little bit because I don't want it to be like hard as a rock. I love trying new recipes, it's so exciting and you can make it your own. I'm trying to get it in all the corners. Just gonna press it in like this and I'll put it in the oven and set my timer and I'm gonna check it, make sure it's not getting too brown. I don't want it to, too, to be too dry so I'm pressing in just a little bit. And now I've made a mess, so we will be back. We took it out, we tested it a while ago, and it's a little wet. Like I said, it's, it's up to you how wet or dry you want it. I, we baked it for 30 minutes on convection. Convection usually bakes a little faster, and it's got that fan, and uh, it browned nicely. I wish I had some fresh parsley. I wanted to say one seasoning that I forgot to add was poultry seasoning. That would be really good in this too. Ella had taken it out for me, and I was in such a hurry that I totally didn't see it. But that would be a good spice too. But the salt is just right. And uh, it makes the chicken moist with the sour cream and the cream chicken soup and, and the butter. Anyway, we're gonna let it sit for a while and uh, then we're gonna do a taste test. Okay, well here it is. It's still really hot, but you can see <clears throat> It's still moist, but if you mix it with the dry, it works out really well. And I like how I cut the chicken up bite-sized bite pieces. But everything's already cooked in here, so it doesn't take too, too long. And if you like the stuffing mix, it's just a, it's not homemade. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not homemade. And my mom, she makes cornbread dressing. But this uh, is something I've, I've never even tried before, and I've always wanted to and I love the, the flavor. The um, stuffing is really well seasoned. It's, it's really nice. And I'm glad I found the cream chicken soup with no salt. That way I can just this is good. This is really a one a one pot meal, really easy. You can use rotisserie chicken, easy to throw together. And uh, I, I really like it. I'm very pleased with this recipe and I love adding my own spices. And so I hope you enjoyed the video and cook supper with me. It was a lot of fun. I know I'm always in a rush and I apologize. I always wait till the last minute. But anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully it'll be something delicious. Bye. Bye.